Praise the Lord. The Lord is with you. Do not fear. Lord, how great are your works. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Do not fear them, for the Lord your God is the one fighting for you. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Through you we will push back our adversaries. Through your name we will trample down those who rise up against us. Amen. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Fight the good fight of faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. God is the Lord and he has given us light. Amen. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Amen. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Amen. Lord, establish your word to your servant, who is devoted to fearing you. Amen. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, an assurance about what we do not see. For we live by faith and not by sight. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, and without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. 
Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. Know this, that the testing of your faith produces patience. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed, from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The righteousness of the Lord is an everlasting righteousness. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Blessings mainly. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not yet seen. Amen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. When you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? For everyone born of God overcomes the world. Except the one whose faith is weak, without quarreling over disputable matters. If you believe, you will receive what you ask for in prayer. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Amen. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Woe to the world because of offenses, for offenses must come. But woe to that man by whom the offenses come. Faith without works is dead. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, 
Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body. What does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. Amen. Take heed that nobody deceives you, as many will come in Christ's name. Amen. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the majesty, and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Amen. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? Amen. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Amen. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. To our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. For for from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Amen. To remain strong, it's not just enough to know the word. We must also believe his word, regardless of our circumstances, our experience, or our feelings. Amen. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, let your requests be made known to God. Amen. Nothing can take the place of spending time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. His joy is to strengthen you, His peace to guard your heart and mind, and His presence to comfort you. Amen. His grace is sufficient for us, that His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Amen. Your problems, worries, stress, issues, illness, debts, Challenges are solved. Stay in prayer. You're almost there. Amen. Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, You seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because... God the Father has set his seal on him. Amen. God comforts me in all tribulations. Amen. God gives me strength when I am weary and increases my power when I am weak. Amen. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Amen. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day.
My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Lend your ear to my understanding, that you may preserve discretion and your lips may keep knowledge. Amen. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for her hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Amen. Discretion will preserve you. Understanding will keep you. Amen. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your wats will overflow with new wine. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. Amen. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Amen. God is with you always. Fear not. Amen. Set your mind on the things above, not on earthly things. Amen. Do not trade your joy for your situation. The Lord has saved the poor from all his troubles. Amen. Those who seek the Lord shall lack no good thing. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Amen. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants. Amen. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Amen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Amen. My expectation is from the Lord. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Amen. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Amen. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Amen. You are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Give your anxieties to the Lord and He will take care of it. Amen. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Always remember this. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Amen. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen.
draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Amen. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Thank you for praying. God bless you.